and welcome back to another video. Today here again on Forza Horizon 5, joined again by Fail Games, this time for an A-Class Auction House Budget Daily Driver Challenge. And due to the unique economy in Forza, I've been able to get hold of a 5-litre Mustang for that, although it has a rather strange livery. Let's go and see what Fail's got and see which is best, this rather strange Mustang or whatever he's found. The livery has disappeared! Oh no, it's back! It's... Right, um... Let's race! Horizon presents Daily Commute! Yes! Is this just the Goliath? Oh no, no it's, it's an not. actual thing! I can see a Welcome. blue squiggly line on the map. Yes, yes, it says see that. Welcome to the Daily Commute! The first person to the destination gets one point, first person to three points wins. Why has this car got anti-lag? It's a daily driver, why? Why are you in a Mustang with a rear wing? Uh, because there's no Mustangs without rear wings. Why did you have a Mustang in the first place? Because I quite like them. <laughs> it probably costs a lot in fuel, though, if you drive them every day. Oh, no! Well, this one does, but they're, they're now available thingy. with four-cylinder engines, like every other car in existence. Like the Bugatti Veyron four-cylinder. Yes. How are you that far ahead? Because this car is excellent. Oh no, I missed the checkpoint! Why is the checkpoint so tight? No, I keep missing the same checkpoint! Right, so I have now lost this challenge by the time we've actually got to the motorway. Hey, I'm off the motorway now. Yeah, I've only got on it. Oh wow, why is a Doge Viper trying to kill me? Where's it gone? I've got four doors, that's practical for a daily commute. Wait! Commute. Why is a Doge Viper that's in 11th place trying to overtake me? What? 11th and 12th are trying to overtake me when I'm in first. <laughs> They're ahead of everyone else, this is incredible. Every time I lift off, this car makes stupid noises. This is why you don't pay four grand for your daily driving car. 12th, 11th, 2nd. <laughs> what kind of a route for your commute is this? It goes off the motorway and then back onto it again. Maybe you have to deliver eggs or deliver the milk. Oh, I've never seen a milkman on the motorway. No, it must be car sharing. That's popular these days. <laughs> you have to go and collect a colleague on the way. Surely the colleague could just wait on the side of a motorway for you to pull over into the hard shoulder. <laughs> is that safe? I don't know. It's efficient. It's the 21st century, all the motorways don't have hard shoulders, they're smart oh, motorways yes. now. Oh no, that's only in England though, where they're <laughs> stupid and haven't quite worked out that that's a terrible idea. <laughs> right, so next time we're going to do a variety of challenges in Guanajuato to see if they are suited to city driving. The first challenge, drive up these stairs. The second challenge, parallel park. The third challenge, do a donut around a roundabout. Excellent. Timer is out. From the wall, please back up up to the wall. Ow. You may set off in three, two, one, go. Oh, he's made it to the stairs. No, that didn't work. That was too he's shallow an angle. Already left the stairs. I don't know where this would ever be useful, but you never know when you need to do whatever this is. <laughs> Looks like your car's much too long. It is. And it's rear wheel drive. My car would be able to get up from there. You could also just go around it rather than straight up and, like, Hang use on, a different road. Hang on, I have road. a solution. What, actually use a different road? Oh, is he going up backwards? Ooh, ooh that's smart. Why are you so... Why are you on race suspension? I have no idea. For a daily driver, that seems very uncomfortable. You can get under lower bridges. You've had a minute. I think at a minute 30, it's just over if you haven't got any nearer to... <laughs> Climb, you stupid car. How are you supposed to rotate if you're already in the wall? Think about it. It's physics. I know, it's but if I go any tighter, it doesn't like it. Maybe that's because you've got a big car. 
Right, you've got five seconds left. That's one minute 30. I think Petrol gets a fail for that. Yeah, that was terrible. Okay, in three, two, one, go. Wow. He's that... driven into the stairs. He's driven onto a stair. Forza has interesting physics. So I see how you were suffering so much. You are taking quite a tight angle. You have to take quite a wide. And launch control is now. Right, right, come on, come on. I'm going to try petrol strategy of going up backwards. You're all wheel drive. It makes no difference. It I does from a turning circle. To... Never mind, it doesn't. <laughs> actually, it might make a difference. Does that make sense? I think it does actually make sense. I'm convinced that car should be able to do it. Yes! Oh, he's Go lined on. it up! He's lined it up! I think it's thought so that doesn't allow it more than the cars that can't do it. But I've done it before! I thought I'd done it as well. I think I could do it in a stock one of those. How much time did you give me before you gave up? 1.30. You're at 125. Yeah, I'm going to try this in a, like, a buggy to prove that it's actually possible, considering we both just failed. Uh, I'm going to find a stock one of those, because I'm convinced that car should be able to do it. <laughs> okay, I'm here in a Subaru. I'm convinced I can just... Yeah, the buggy can do it. Okay. Right, let's see if an... It's Nearly. Awesome. Yeah, well, it could do it, but... <laughs> It proves that it's possible, <laughs> which was the idea. There we go. No, that wasn't helpful. <laughs> Petrol is trying to prove that my car is superior to his. Not possible in that car. I'm convinced I did. We did this in a city car challenge, and I think I was maybe in a front wheel drive. Maybe if you went down it and up, but maybe if you started on the stairs rather than in this corner. What? No, I think I got that far as well. You did, eventually. I think we have irritated the pe pedestrians for long enough. Time yes, to do I some parallel parking. Right, I'll demonstrate the challenge first. You park here. Where I am currently. In the penultimate bay. It is now my job to park behind you without ever going behind the yellow line here with any part of a vehicle hey what do you mean hey behind which bit this line here oh i see so you have to so, like, so we're basically swing pretending in, there's it? a car here yeah just back the challenge has to be done in interior view remember okay right count me in okay three two one Go. Right, I'm looking in my mirror. You have to use your mirrors. You're not allowed to use it. Actually, no, but how does that work? You can't really line up the car. In real life, it's quite a lot easier. Oh, have I hit him yet? No. I, I always hit knock banging noises, but I think it's for. You haven't hit me. Right. I can't see a car yet. Oh, there he is. Can't see anything in this interior view. Oh, he's on oh. the pavement. No. Plus 10 seconds. Ow, he's crashed into me. Am I? Yes. Oh, now he's crashed, crashed into, into me you. again. And again. Now he's on ah. the pavement again. <laughs> this is quite Now difficult. he's gone out of the back of the space. Parked. Right. Oh, now he's hit me again. What do you mean I've hit you? Okay. Oh wow, I am not parked. <laughs> okay, stop the timer. I think we have to add 50 seconds to that one. 10 seconds for every discrepancy. So how much, uh, what was, okay, no, just keep my time in your head. Okay. You can go in three, two, one, go. Here he comes, he's going very slowly. Wow, he's miles away from my car. Oh? That looks like it's going to be clean. 
Oh my heaven! Am I in? No, you, you still need to go a bit left. You're on the line. Oh, he's... Oh, he's gone over the back! He's gone over... Uh, that's alright, though. He's crashed into me! Stop it. Okay, got parked. He's in! Okay, Petrol did it in a time of 60 seconds. I didn't. With how many penalties? Five. Hey? How many penalties Oh, no, you had you two. Get? I had five, I meant. Okay. So, 40 plus 20. Okay, more... the time for you I have is actually just before the last time you hit me, but <laughs> you were in the space by then. You did it in 56 seconds. With penalties. With more that's penalties. Without. Yeah, with, that's without penalties. Ah. And you got 50 seconds of penalties. <laughs> <laughs> right, 1-0 uh, to Petrol on that front. I think yes, we you just can park a Subaru uh... faster, but it involves bumping into things. <laughs> I think we just don't bother with the do nothing thing. I think we just call because you'd probably murder people considering you're in a Mustang. Yes. So we're just going to call it 2-0 to Purple Petrol 13 already. What? Excellent. Let's do a drag race one. Yes. What could possibly go wrong? 3, 2, 1, go. Do you use launch control ever? Yes. Ah, I see. That might be why you're winning. The good news is I'll be able to see what's coming because you'll crash into it. Uh, nothing. Why is there no traffic? <laughs> oh, understeer. I had sliding understeer. This is very unfortunate. Yes. Uh, Purple Petrol wins 3-0. And the traffic now emerges. Which would you rather have? Uh, the Mustang. Really? I'd have a Subaru. Oh! Not in their current states. <laughs> in their current states, I'd have yours. If Maybe it was stock, I'd have a Mustang. Oh. I see. Ah, yes, obviously. <laughs> and that brings an end to today's challenge. As ever, do go and check out Fail's channel, which will be linked in the description. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with the next video very soon. Mm -hmm.